Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back once again to what is hopefully an amazing series. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide though. Uh, but guess what we're doing this time? Ah yes, the T29. Whew. It's It can be a pretty formidable tank or it can be one that you just pick off. That really depends how you're playing it and really what the terrain around you is like. So you have to choose what direction you're going on maps with this tank more than anything. Because you have to keep in mind it's got 102 millimeters hull armor which at tier 7 is nothing special. Uh, it's eh, it, yeah, nothing special that's for sure. I think the M6 has just as much of the front and that's the tier 6 counterpart. So then we go ahead and look at the turret armor. 279 millimeters of armor on that. Dang. That's a lot of armor. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that if somebody goes hauled down on one of these things in front of you and you're stuck shooting at it, that you are not going to hurt it. No. Don't forget this hatch on top. That's always a weak point. That's always a good option. If you can hit it, it's a good option. Now these ears don't bother shooting them. They typically don't do damage. I I never aim at them, honestly. It's I don't think they've ever done I think they used to in an older patch do damage, but I don't think they do now. Maybe we'll test that someday, but for now, no. Okay, now let's take a closer look at its stats here. We're gonna look at the, the side of the turret's armor. It's 127 millimeters too, so that's still quite a bit. Like that's that's a reasonable amount. If you're in a smaller tank, you might not want to. You might not be able to hurt hit on the side of the turret. Wow, I am tripping over my words, aren't I? <clears throat> okay, in the back of the turret, still has as much as the front of the hull. So that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's not angled, but it's still pretty tough. As for the sides and back, as usual, you don't want to show them ever. But it does have a, an okay amount on the sides. So you can sit on a little bit of an angle, but you don't want the enemy to be looking at you for, at more than maybe this angle still that goes with any tank really because uh, the more angle you go the more tempted they're going to be to shoot at your sides and you want to tempt them to shoot at your sides but you want the angle to be good enough for them to bounce off of it so it goes both ways but let's hop into battle here and we'll show off hopefully we get a good map and we can show off what kind of nope we didn't uh, turret armor it gets so Man, it's so weird seeing artillery at the very top of the list. Look at that. We get two GW Panthers, which are now tier 7s? Yeah, tier 7s. And they get one GW Tiger, which is now a tier 9. Whew. Top tier is a... Jeez, sorry. <laughs> it, I know it's at the top, but that doesn't mean anything. It's still basically a tier 7 or 8. It's kind of between a tier 7 and 8 now, I think already from before, so, meh. It sounds like from what I've heard in the chat, I'm not sure, but it sounds like from what people have been saying, you saw it there moments ago possibly too. Let's get this show on the road. Um, let's go to Tank Alley, unless nobody goes that way, we'll see. Dang it, we're gonna have to go that way. Ah, I don't wanna go that way. I don't like this way. <laughs> Sounds like artillery is less accurate now too. My first battle, I I just about rage quit after my first battle in this version. So I was getting hit by artillery. Splashed by artillery. So the artillery was shooting the tank but another tank length away from me. This is a higher tiered battle, so like a tank like this length away from me. My ally would get hit that distance away, and I would get splashed from that and lose a hundred health points. It was just like what? Really? From that distance, I'm getting all kinds of pain. <laughs> um, I don't like this spot. I mean, it's great because you can go haul down, but really, I don't think I'm going to get into any conflicts here. I don't want to roll down there either, because I feel like if I if I start going this direction, ooh, it's just going to end in pain. Oh, somebody sees me. Well, heck, with this then, I'm staying here. <laughs> you can shoot my turret all you want. The chances of you getting through it are pretty minimal. That hatch at any distance on top of my turret is pretty hard to hit. Yeah, that hurt you. Oh, now you're getting hit by artillery. 
He did a little bit of damage there. So he's using HE rounds. Yep. Need to watch to my side as well. There's somebody coming up my right. I saw that. Let's keep my turret pointed that way as I move over. And I'll take care of this guy. Hopefully, uh, this guy will not get hit through that hole too much. Now, I could shoot and break this barrier, and he might back up and run away momentarily. But I kind of need him to... Okay, that's an ally. thought it was an enemy for a second. To peek out like that. There he goes. Lost quite a bit of health there. Let's back up, but not too much. I don't want to get shot through this gap. That's, uh... Something you have to think about when you're in city maps, especially. Gotcha. Ooh, this is going to hurt, I think. Uh, which one of us is he going to hit? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ooh. I bounced him, but he got the kill. I thought I was about to get hit. Now, I'm going to push down this side. Let's see if I can spot anyone first before we go too far. I don't see anyone at first. Oh, actually, I better go back to my base. Look at the mini-map. That far side there? He's having a hard time. So let's, uh, let's head back. Affirmative. I'm going to go back this way. Be best if I flanked him rather than try to face him head on. Because then you can get up behind him, possibly before they notice you. Hopefully before they notice you. Get a few good shots in. Hopefully there's nobody looking at me here. This tier 7 TD is right there. Oh, hit my turret, please. Oh, from the side. That's one thing you need to worry about. These, these silly city maps <laughs> that I love. There he goes. That took a... That scratched some paint off there. I need to be careful, though, wherever I go. There's a window up on the si other side of that hill. There's guys to the left there. That KV's not going to be able to hold him off on his own, I doubt. There's some guys coming from off a hill there. Need to be careful here. Is that TD trying to flank me or something? Or is he just right around this corner? There he is. Okay. Main gun is damaged. I'm going to use my repair kit on that. I think that'd be the smarter thing to do. Ah, I'm going to have to go back there. Get shot from over there. I knew that would happen. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? If I go across this gap or try to go down the center, I'm going to get shot at by the enemy on this side of the bit over there. They might be moving from there. Ah, this is going to hurt a little bit, I think. This one may oh, there he is. Got him. Didn't get shot from anybody over there. Nobody's at our base. I was expecting that. It wasn't there still a guy over there or did he die? There's a oh there is one. Okay. I'm not gonna get there before the base is captured, I don't think. But that's fine. No, he's going between the two buildings, so I won't be able to get a shot on him. But that went pretty well. I thought for a second there we were in trouble. I'd like to go finish off that that 8.8, .8, but uh I think I could do it. But just didn't get the chance. So this VK hit his fuel tank, really. I guess it wasn't me that tracked him. Must have been the KV-3. So that's fine. This guy was using HE rounds, which... Ah, what's my opinion on using HE rounds on a T-29's turret when that's the only thing showing? It uses... It takes so many, so little health points away most of the time on something tough like that especially that it's really not worth it I, I mean it's 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 not the credit cost or anything like that that gets it not too bad for experience it's not really the credit cost that's the problem because HE rounds I think they're still pretty cheap aren't they unless that was changed but I mean you're peeking out you're taking a big risk to shoot somebody to do 50 damage to them in a tank with over 1,200 hit points. That's not doing much. I think he did 45 damage to me with that one HE, HE shot. So is it really worth the risk to do that much damage? And is it worth using the HE rounds rather than armor piercing if you're going to do that? Well, I would still go with the armor piercing and try to aim for the turret or some other, or the, the hatch on top. It's, it's, what's the technical name? Cup, cupula or something? 
aim for a weak spot. Even if it is small, I think you're still better off taking a couple shots and missing before finally hitting the weak spot. Or better yet, waiting for the enemy to be distracted or make a stupid mistake or become impatient so that you get another chance to shoot another weak spot of theirs. Maybe they'll you know, turn their turret when you can only see the front of their turret. They'll think, oh, you're not looking for a second, and they'll turn and shoot the guy beside them. And boom, you hit him on the side of the turret. But hey, there's always a chance even when you're taking long shots, that you'll hit a weak spot just by chance. I think it's better to go with the armor piercing there, regardless. I don't think I ever use high explosive rounds except for artillery, really. I think I'm going to keep it that way. I mean, there's a few exceptions, like some derp guns and whatnot. You want to use HE rounds, but whatever. I guess everybody has their preference. I know if you get shoot somebody in the back, then it can do a whole lot of damage, but yeah, so here's the list of tanks. I still got a couple more tanks to do here before I run out of suggestions. I uh, had somebody suggest a T-54E1. I just did another video on that not too long ago, but it was a different style video, like the, the gameplay series as opposed to this quote-unquote live series. Hey, you get a shout-out. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll see it soon in the series. How soon? I'm not going to say, but soon enough. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to suggest tanks. Keep suggesting them. Even if I've done them before, go ahead. I still plan on doing the T-52 again. I'm still not happy with that battle I did. That's bugging me. I should have been more of a scout than just trying to pick off the enemy. I was acting more like I would in the T-71 than I should have been in, a, in an actual scouting tank. Because I don't see the T-71, which is this one is really a scouting tank so much as just a strategic quick mover, quick flanker. Because you get behind someone, unload six shells into them for 100 dam 150 damage each, That's that really adds up. Is that 900? Three, six, nine, yeah, 900 damage in just a few seconds. That's that's nothing to, to joke about there. That's, I think that's a waste going for artillery and getting yourself killed at the beginning. Even if you do kill one already, then whatever. Okay, well, guys, that's it for next time. So I shall see you, well, next time. <laughs> Have a good one.